So firstly, let us start by, once again, big picture. Let us start by looking at your leadership experience over, over decades and decades. What would you say are the key factors or the key ingredients that we need to ensure that this African intertrade happens? What would you say? I would say that we need badly three, three uh, major uh, uh, issues. First, uh, political stability, political will, and good policies. Because sometimes, uh, even when you have good uh, uh, political will and you have uh, political stability, sometimes you don't have the, the best policies, you know. You can have all the, the, you want to do something, you want to promote something, but you don't, if you don't have this, the good policies, uh, I'm afraid that you are not going to exceed. But the worst is that in Africa, in fact, we lack the two major points, which is political stability and political will. Political stability means that <clears throat> you have a kind of uh, peaceful society where people are, uh, the, the own problem for the whole society is to improve the condition of life. While when you have political instability, mainly because the struggle of power, because the, the struggle of power is the, the main source of political instability. And then, of course, uh, you, people got lost, and you can have uh, any kind of dreams, you will never achieve your own dreams. So, the main for me, the, as a former head of state, etc., I do know that we badly need in Africa uh, uh, political stability. And political stability means for me democracy. Uh -huh. It means Specifically for me democracy. democracy. Of okay. course, it means democracy because democracy, uh, people, when, when people think about democracy, they always think about the elections. That's, in yes. fact, it's about stability. It means that this society has decided to solve the political problem peacefully. That election, it's, it's a way of to take, the, uh, take power uh, peacefully, exercise peacefully, and live it peacefully. So when you have democracy, you have a real stable society. When you don't have democracy, it seems like a stable and a dictatorship. It seems like, a but it's, in fact, it's stability of a volcano before it bursts. Mm. And this is why I always say, first of all, let's fight for democracy. And then, I wouldn't say everything would come easy after democracy, but this is the, 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 the core of the problem. If we don't have democracies, democratic systems in, in Africa, I am afraid we'll never achieve anything. Okay, thank you very much, Your Excellency. So you've pointed to the three things, political will, political stability, and uh, good, good policies. policies. So when we're talking about uh, political will, let's, let's dive firstly a little bit deeper into political will. Um, how can countries now also balance between their national interests and those of, for example, the African free trade area, which is the continental interest? How do, now do, how do you balance the politics between the national and now the regional in ensuring that now if we, if we want the, um, the African free trade yeah. area Look, to really take uh, off? For the moment, I, I'm living in Europe. And okay. uh, for, unfortunately, I'm once again in exile uh, because, you know, we have had this coup in Tunisia, so I'm living in Europe. So I'm watching very c c close what's happening in Europe. In fact, the European, don't forget that they had, uh, they never had this uh, democracy or the economic development easy. In fact, they, mm. uh, don't forget, they, right. they have had two war, uh, world they wars, right. more than 60 million people uh, uh, killed, mm. uh, a lot of dictatorship, and mm. et cetera, et cetera. So when they got rid of the dictatorship, of the communist dictatorship, the Nazi dictatorship, the fascist dictatorship, they began to build up the, uh, the European Union. And inside the European Union, in fact, everybody, every state, you know, uh, uh, gained a lot. Mm -hmm. And so for the moment, when I consider the situation of France or Italy, no Italian or no French would accept, you know, to leave the, to the European Union because the best interest of the French people, the Italian people, is within the European Union. This is what we should, uh, th this is exactly what we, we should try to, 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 uh, to achieve in Africa. It means that First of all, we have to get rid of all the dictatorship because this is the, 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 the first uh, uh, objective. And then only w what the history taught us is that you never, you never have, you cannot have a un union between dictatorship, but within, only between democracy. So if mm. we want to have a real uh, a continent, mm. it must be a, a democracy, a, a based on democracy system. Okay. Your Excellency, you've pointed uh, that you've stressed that the importance of the democracy and, and the importance of the people. Yeah. 
So then how would you then translate this big tool that we now have, this African continental free yeah. trade area and, and the agreement, how does the political machinery translate that now down to its citizens for them to understand? Well, for me, let's uh, remember that Africa, in fact, is divided in five areas where the problems are different. Northern Africa, Southern Africa, Eastern Africa, Western Africa, and Central Africa. And in fact, you have five different situations. Okay. For instance, I, I, I do believe that uh, in Western Africa and Eastern Africa, Southern Africa, things are going well mm. because you have a lot of uh, state close to each other more democratic systems mm. so I, uh, I can hope and I can uh, expect that very soon people would see mm. that um, something is changing in, in their life mm -hmm. because trade would be easier etc etc mm. while in North Africa where I come from where you have five dictatorship I'm afraid that you will uh, nothing would, would go so talking about free trade in northern uh, South Africa for me is just a dream or it, in fact it, it won't work won't work at all because really? even inside the region itself mm. you have this uh, struggle between Morocco and Algeria and now and you have the civil war in in, uh, in in Libya and you have the coup in Egypt etc mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. the situ the political situation is extremely tense mm -hmm. extremely uh, unstable and where we have hostility between states so I cannot imagine cannot imagine that we we will uh, reach the level of the ECOWAS. The ECOWAS is, I think, yeah. it's a good, it's good example. I am hoping that the ECOWAS mm. would be the example uh, for, for 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 whole Africa. But for the moment, let's be modest. You know, let's work on the level of this subregions mm. where you can have results. Mm -hmm. But dreaming of having results for the whole continent for the moment, I don't believe it. So then, Your Excellency, what does that then mean for the African continental free trade area? If, 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 um, in terms of what you've now said about the difficulties in the, in the northern part, with the dictatorships, the, 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 the tensions, it must the, be an objective. the war. So it must be an objective. It mm -hmm. must be a dream. You know, you, uh, nations like people must have dreams, must have mm -hmm. long-term objectives. Mm -hmm. so, so this would be a good uh, a, a good objective for the next 10 years or 12 years for the new generation but for the moment I think the most important thing is to work on the uh, on this uh, sub-region level and to put all the all the all, all the effort on this uh, this region because you can have results very soon mm. while if you want to, to to work on the whole continent I'm afraid that you will you can be very easily can disappointed. Be very easily disappointed. Mm -hmm. And so that that would that then be your your, your advice yes. to to yes. the African yes. continental promote free trade? what's what work on this this uh, area mainly on the ECOWAS, Western uh, Eastern Africa, Eastern, Western yeah. Africa, southern, southern part of Africa. Yeah. Forget about Northern Africa for the moment. Wow. For the moment. For the, for, for the moment, because we are trying our best in, uh, in North Africa, you know, to get rid of dictatorship and then to have okay. to integrate the region itself, mm. because we have to integrate the, 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 the country of the region itself, and then we can open up to the, the, the whole uh, continent. And so how then would you see that happening, that, that internal first integration yeah. in North Africa? We, how, would you, how, how do you see that un playing out? How, how do you see that unfolding? Well, I'm working on it. We, uh, we are going to have a, a very soon a kind of symposium between political actors from Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, etc., etc., mm -hmm. because we, we, we know that the government are not doing what should be done, so okay. we would be kind of put the pressure on them, mm -hmm. so they would, would move forward. But uh, it would take uh, a long time because once again, the example of Europe is very clear: you cannot unite a dictatorship. Mm -hmm. Only democracy can build up a common network. Mm -hmm. So uh, before talking about integration, we have to talk about democratization of our country, and then the integration would be would come very very soon and very easily. Okay. And so do you think that as is the concept of intra-trade yeah. within Africa, that cannot work in, for the moment, no. in, in Northern Africa? No, no. For the moment, no. Okay. And so then, um, then the follow-up question, your, your Excellency, would be, what about now for the citizens? Because that's trade. You can, you yeah. can say that that's macro level. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's the, for the business who understand trade yeah, deficits, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Mm. But what does it mean for the, for the citizen? or for the average person in 
whether it's Tunisia, in Egypt, in Algeria, do they, under, do they know of the African continental free trade area? Mm. Is it something that is, is known in, no. in Northern Africa? No, no, no. For the moment, no. Because once again, this, uh, this uh, area is uh, living one of the most, uh, the worst uh, period of its history. Mm -hmm. Because we have civil war in Libya. Mm -hmm. And we have a uh, uh, danger of war between uh, uh, Algeria and Morocco. Mm -hmm. uh, so the people, in fact, are uh, uh, you know, uh, struggling to remain, uh, to stay in life, to stay. Right. That's, that, that's the problem. You know, we, now for Tunisia, my country, uh, people are queuing for bread because we have a shortage of bread okay. because of the, you know, the crisis of the war of Ukraine. Of Ukraine. And so, so, so the prices are soaring and uh, uh, people are, are really st struggling for life. So for the moment, talking about et cetera, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's almost over, over, o over the heads over of the head. of over majority, the head. Of, majority of the, of the population. So, but we, we um, you know, as a former leader and uh, still political activist, I think we are doing our best first uh, uh, to set up democratic states. That's the first. Mm -hmm. Second, integration within the region. Mm -hmm. Third, integration in the continent. This, okay. this would be the, you know, the strategy. The strategy. So Otherwise, it would be just, uh, you know, just talking and talking, and nothing would uh, would be achieved. But uh, uh, as as a North African leader, I'm very, very uh, interested in what's happening in, the, in this part of the continent. Mm. So I'm following everything. I'm having a lot of uh, ties with my. Uh, African colleagues, because mm -hmm. I know this would be helpful, you know, for the future. And so let's now go back before we, before we conclude, Your Excellency. Let's go back to your first uh, response when you said the three your three key factors, your three key ingredients. Mm -hmm. You said political will, political stability, and 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 good with, policies. And good policies. Uh, um, how would you do? They all work together, or does one come before the other? <laughs> no. The, the, First, political stability. You can you cannot talk about anything, anything when you have civil war. You know, it's it, 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 see what's happening in Sudan now. It's, it's terrible what's happening yep. in Sudan. Or remember what's happened in Sierra Leone or Liberia. Mm -hmm. How can you talk about good policies? You have first of all, you have the political stability. Okay. And once again, political stability for me means democracy. democracy. It's real uh, real stability is democratic stability. Uh, you have the the. the under the dictatorship, it's a false democracy. It's mm -hmm. it's a false. Uh, uh, it's it's not really stable because, in fact, it's the stability of a volcano. You know, volcano are stable. Rumbling, <laughs> but the rumbling yes. inside, inside, right? Inside. And, and, and then you have the, and then it yes, yes, While yes. in democracy, we have a lot of you know people are striking, people are shouting, etc. Et mm -hmm. It's like a sea. You know, you you see the you see the waves, but, the, but the, the, underneath the, the, under the sea, the currents and the current, the, yes. uh, living, uh, etc. So once again, this is my, my main idea for, for the next generation of African leaders. Seek democracy because democracy means stability. When you have stability, then you will, can have build everything you want, even bad policies. For the, you begin with bad policies, <laughs> yes. but because it's a democratic system, mm -hmm. you can correct. There's a, there's a can, fixing mechanism. Fix, fix yes. mechanism. Even it's not, I wouldn't say it's not important to have bad policies because always you have to test something, you yeah. know, something. It doesn't work. You yes. see that it was bad policy. Yes. It can change. It can change if, when you, it's a democratic system because within a dictatorship, you never, you cannot mm. never because it's the boss. He said, this is the way you keep the way mm -hmm. until, you know, you, you, you get uh, in, in, the, uh, in, get in the hole, you know, in the well. You know, so. so for you, political stability yeah. would be number, number stability, one. Number one. And, and you started touching on, on your advice for, for, for leaders. So uh, to, to conclude, Your Excellency, what would be then your, your advice for current uh, and even future leaders of Africa? Because we really, really just, we're, we're now really looking at ourselves on the continent. Be confident, be confident, because uh, it's uh, uh, the European, once again, they didn't reach the, the level of democracy, the level of, uh, uh, you know, the standard of living easily they had to fight I, I, when you right. know the history you know that the european mm. they have paid a high violent. price high, the chinese also. have right. a, had bad price we african we have to pay the price unfortunately <laughs> i know it's terrible to say but we have right. to pay the price we never got anything free, free, you know, free for free you never get anything so 
Be confident, don't, uh, uh, and once again, never forget that the worst enemy of Africa is dictatorship. Mm -hmm. It is a political system. This political system, because it means minority using the state for, uh, for its own interests, while the state should be in the service of the community of the people. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you want uh, an African uh, Union like a European Union, if mm -hmm. you want, etc., first you have to establish democratic states. And, and the, so now finally, you, you've pointed out that the Northern Africa, it has to, it's on its own path. It, it has to first get the democracy. For the moment. For, yeah. the, moment, for the moment. For the moment. Um, and then start to integrate within itself mm. before coming mm. to, the rest of, to the rest of Africa. So in your, whether it is your ideal world, how long do you think this will take? How many years? And what does it then mean for the African free trade? And, and, and do you worry that that means, would, now, would this region be left behind, perhaps? Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, uh, let's just like, just to, to, yeah, to finish, uh, would, would that, how, how many years do you think it could take, possibly take? It's difficult, you know, to make this kind of provision because it mm -hmm. could be overnight and it could take 10 years, 12 mm -hmm. years, I don't know. It depends on the, mm -hmm. but you know, we have, what we, my generation and even your generation, what we're watching is the acceleration of history. So maybe mm. something, it took uh, uh, decades for the European, we right. African, we can do it in 10 years. Mm -hmm. I do believe that the, ex the history is accelerating and in Northern Africa, history is extremely accelerating. Don't forget that we have had the, this Arab Spring Arab in 2011. Spring. Right, right. Then we have had the wave of the, uh, of the country revolution for the moment, but now we are, uh, ex I am I expecting a new wave of revolution new wave okay. of uh, Arab Spring in, in okay. Northern Africa. So things can, be, can go very, very fast. And is there space for us to learn from the European Union and the Chinese and all those that have gone before us? Is there, are, there val are there good lessons that we can Yes, learn? very and good lessons, lessons, very good lessons. You know, what, what, uh, always what, when we see, we see the destructive forces. You know, we, see, we talk about wars, about hunger, about etc. We see the destructive force. But we never see what's behind the destructive force. Mm. It's just like, you know, I'm a physician, I'm a doctor. So as a doctor, I see when somebody is ill, I, I, I know he's suffering, etc. I'm dealing with, with suffering. But I never know what's getting inside, inside. his body, you Absolutely. know, because I know that in his body is trying, you know, to, to tackle the problem and to solve mm -hmm. the problem, sometimes better than the, the, the physician himself. Right. So I do believe that even here in Africa, we see the destructive forces, we see civil war, we see famine, etc. but we don't see what's behind the, behind scene, the scene, constructive forces, and mm -hmm. the constructive forces are very important in Africa, mm -hmm. as everywhere. So I do believe that Africa has a good future. Uh, thank you very much, um, Your Excellency. And so what would be your one piece of advice for, for current leaders? on well, the continent well uh, be proud and be confident perfect thank you and for future leaders future leaders the next generation leaders the next uh, the generation i think you will take revenge of all what uh, your ancestor had suffered ah okay thank you thank you very much Your excellency uh, th this was a fantastic discussion and, and thank, thank you. you for your for your honesty in terms of uh, stating that you know northern africa you're not quite there yet i think that that's something that w we we may not have heard um, mm. com before coming to to, to mm -hmm. this meeting today mm -hmm. and so thank you uh, for taking your time to speak to us as wongozi institute and 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 we welcome you to tanzania uh, again i believe you have come for for some of the other a alfs um in tanzania not to tanzania i would like to come to tanzania okay. but, uh, I would like to go to the grave of uh, President Tambaka, uh, yes. uh, because he really is a great man and yes. I admire him for what he has done. And, uh, okay. I hope next time, the next meeting would be of uh, Nguzi Institute and uh, Leadership Forum would be in, uh, in, in, uh, in uh, who knows, but it would be a good we'll occasion see. for me. Inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs>